Happy days, everyone. All right, so we're starting a new project. I'm, I've been wanting to do this since I got my truck and I did, never pulled the trigger. Well, we've ordered a truck cap for the back of the truck and we're gonna put rocket launchers on the top. You can see behind me what's gonna happen. We're building them. I'm gonna show you guys step by step how to build rocket launchers, what to use. I've watched tutorials on, on YouTube. I just, I haven't found a lot of them even when you search them that I can find, I'm like, okay, that's that's an awesome tutorial for somebody who wants to put rocket launchers on their truck. So I'm gonna do that for you guys, step by step, what I'm buying, what I'm getting, how I'm doing it, and it's gonna start all right here, right in my little garage. <laughs> All right, so the first thing I did, obviously, is went to Lowe's, Home Depot, any can be of your hardware stores, your big box hardware stores or plumbing supply, and got some six inch PVC. Look at these big bad boys. Hello, hello. This is your, this is the backbone of your project, the beast, the protector of your rods. That's right. So, regular six inch PVC. The whole parts of this project, I'm gonna tell you right up front, here's what you need to get for your project. I'll list on the screen. As I go through it, here we go, ready? You're gonna need PVC, your two rod or your rod end caps. You're gonna need primer. You're gonna need a sanding block, a flexible foam slant sanding block, or just pads of sandpaper. And then whatever colors you wanna paint your PVC pipes. And that's pretty much it, guys. You need a roof rack on your truck or your car. That's gonna be it. I'm gonna take you through the whole process and I hope I'm thorough. I hope I do a great job on this, guys. And if you, hey, if you like this idea and I do a great job, give me a thumbs up. And I hope I help you guys and I can let you know, hey, right from start to get-go, this is what this is going to cost. This is how to do it and how long it's going to take. The first part of this project is cutting your PVC to size that you want. I'm cutting mine eight feet long. Measure your rods. The longest rod I have is seven foot six, but I'm leaving a little room in there for wiggle wiggle. We don't want those things sliding back and forth a lot. So seven, six, I did eight foot, including the caps. Next, we're going to sand the PVC. Before you can paint PVC, you have to sand it down. It's got a coating on it. We need to clean the coating off and scruff it up and make sure it's ready to receive the paint primer. <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you right now, this takes a while. So it might take you a couple days, it might take you a little while, but it's part of the deal. You have to sand it. We just take our sanding block, so you get these in the drywall section of your hardware store. All right, they're just paint sanding blocks. I've got a couple different ones with different grits. Use the heaviest grit you can to start. And then it's just good old fashioned elbow grease. So y'all, just like or catching your fish, keeping your fish cold, transporting your fish properly, filleting your fish. Every step of the process makes it easier as you go and a better product at the end. Take your time to sand it. It's a long process. The sanding is the longest process. Spray painting is at least fun. You see it. Sanding is just kind of boring, but you got to do it. You got to do it, guys. Put the time and the effort in. Plus, get you a pretty good workout. If you really want to get jiggy with it, you get the belt sander out or you get the palm sander out. Where you get this little guy? I'm gonna use this little guy. I didn't know he had that grit sandpaper on it. That's on, on like Donkey Kong. Work smarter, not harder, guys. Oh, it's gonna be so much easier. All right, sanding is done on this tube. Look how sexy she looks. That's right, super white, plain tube, super sexy. All right, now we're gonna run some acetone over this whole thing and let it dry, and we'll be ready to paint with our primer. Then I gotta do this whole thing over again. So when you check us next, well, yes, I gotta do two. You can see it took me, well, real time, it took me probably, 15, 20 minutes for that tube. Good morning, y'all. It's the next day. We are continuing with our rocket launcher project today, and today is prime day. We're gonna prime and paint these two tubes. 
So I've got both six inch tubes set up here outside. We're gonna go ahead and get universal bonding primer. After I've sanded them, you saw that process. Now we're gonna prime them first with white primer. You can use gray primer, whatever you want. It only takes 15 minutes to dry. There's very little wind in the air today and uh, good moisture content. So that's what we're gonna do, primer first. So we've primed, we've waited 30 minutes. We're gonna sand this thing down with a real light grit sandpaper. I'm using a sanding block again because it gives and it can conform around that post a little bit easier. A quick sand, then we're gonna put that black paint, first coat of black paint on there. Okay, sanding's done, prepped, ready for first coat of black. is motion make sure this bad boy if you guys haven't spray painted anything before and hey I, my videos are for everybody so if you spray painted ignore it but keep that thing moving then start spraying moving spraying moving spraying right one can down okay sorry I had to flip my meat all right got a smoker going on I'm smoking some ribs while I'm doing this all right so this is dry right now we're gonna go ahead and put it first sand on Coat two, here we go. It's starting to come together now. So much easier to coat those second and third coats, nice light coats. Right, second coat of black paint. I am using now 400 grit sandpaper for a finished fine finish sand. Super smooth for our, for our last coat. All right, looking good. All right, so we're gonna move this party back inside because it's chance it rains 80% tonight and I don't want to get it sprayed on there and have a quick thunder shower come through. And it's still getting chilly. It'll be chilly tonight. So I'm gonna spray paint this final coat tonight, let it dry in here overnight where there's no dust, no wind or anything like that. We'll be looking sweet tomorrow, ready for a clear coat. Awesome, awesome. Soon the back will be on the truck these babies would be up on top of that. I'm looking forward to it. Guys, I came back this morning to my garage and look at the sexiness of these tubes. Oh, they're looking so good. Man, they're looking good. Oh, this is what happens when you put good prep work into things. These are ready to seal up. I'm gonna get the clear coat on these today. Uh, that's what we're gonna do next in the process. Bam, 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 bam. That's right, welcome back. All right, we're continuing the rocket launcher project. We are back in the garage. Continuing project rocket launcher. Chase is with me. You wanna say hey, dude? Take 17, because I'm having uh, SD card issues. Chase is hitting huge balls with a golf club. That is right. Give me a swing, dude. See what you can do with that thing. Come on, choke up. What do you got? Terrible. All right, so we're working on the rocket launcher project. We're back in the garage, and the cap got put on last night. You guys can see the cap got put on. I'm super excited how the cap turned out. I got the ARE Z-Series. Turn this way a little bit for you guys. Dude, Streamline, it looks fantastic. The Yakima bars on the top, which are gonna house the rocket launchers. The two rocket launchers are done. Now we're getting ready. Now we're getting ready to put on the um, conduit carrier caps. So we ordered these conduit carriers. I actually got them from eBay. They were the same price, faster shipping, because Amazon shipping is so slow right now. But this is the product that you want. I'll give you a link, I'll show it on the screen as well. But these are the boxes. I got two of these uh, conduit carriers, and these are sweet, y'all. I'll tell you what, they come with all the hardware, everything you need, but check out this, this hardware. 
Oh, by the way, they're black, but I had to repaint them to match. So these come, as you see here, an end cap with the lock on it. And look, it's not a padlock, it's an integrated lock that you have a, a triangle key to turn and open. Um, and then you have the mounting bracket, which is you just pull up and it locks it in like that for regular storage. That baby opens, it goes on one end, the end cap goes on the other, and you're good to go. They're also padded on the inside, which is pretty cool. Both of them are padded, you can see. We don't want our precious rods getting banged. What are you doing? Okay, that is the conduit kit that I recommend. They're about $55 a piece, so it's about 120 bucks for two of them. So I'm gonna get these things installed, show you what they look like. So that'll complete your tube with your end cap. Now, all I need to do is touch up paint here and here, which I'll do really quick, and then touch up the paint here and here, which you can see everything matches. It's looking tight. I'm gonna leave this silver and this silver. There you go, 20 minute, 28 minutes it took me to put those four brackets on. Y'all, it ain't quick, I'll tell you that. Everything's on there secure. It's looking tight. So now, all you do is pull your rod holder, flip it up, rods are in there, good to go. Super excited. So this can go up without hitting that. So it's got clearance there. Then you put that down, jump on your tailgate, grab what you need. You're good to go. All right, it's looking tight. All right, y'all, the rocket launchers are complete. Are they finally done? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why Chase acts like a little monkey. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> oh, nut shot. All right, guys, just in the nick of time before the sun is going down. I'm excited. I love projects, y'all. I love it when a plan comes together. And for the total cost of whatever it is right here, I think it's around 250 bucks, $300 uh, for the tubes and the mounting accessories, things like that. Come on, now come the logos. We're gonna logo this bad boy up. All of our sponsors, people we work with, our affiliates, we're gonna show our love for them and we appreciate all of you guys' support. Appreciate you watching the videos. It's been amazing lately, the amount of growth we've had and it's because you guys. We're just putting out videos that we think are fun and hopefully you guys are enjoying it. So thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hey guys, all right, so it's the next day. We are all finished with the rocket launchers and the basket that goes on top, the cargo basket. So I just wanted to throw that in there so you guys can see the finished product of the roof rack system with the rod holders. So here you go, check it out. Turned out pretty sweet. I'm very excited. Um, that is a DIY project, less than well with the roof rack carrier. It's probably all under $500. Two tubes, the roof rack, everything under 500 bucks. Installed, done myself, DIY. And you guys, hey, comment below. Let me know what you think. And as usual, we appreciate you watching. Thanks for all the love and support, and thanks for helping us grow. You guys are the only way we can grow our channel. And hey, we love meeting you, seeing you out and about. And it's been cool running into you guys out there on the water. So. Appreciate it. See you on the next video.